I want to I want to talk a bit about the Ukraine in in the sense that um, there there's a one guy who is uh, whose name is Alexei Aristovich and he is a uh, advisory to the president office and what he's saying now is basically after the Ukraine will win uh, there will be um, the new set of ideas spread from Ukraine since they have fight for freedom to the Europe and Europe ideas will be replaced uh, by the new ones that will come from from these territories because people have been kind of uh, setting up a, a, a new life with the, the, the new wo- worldview and so on. Do you, do you believe that uh, something can can come from there i mean i think i think if ukraine wins good will happen Uh, but i don't think uh, ukraine winning is going to challenge the fundamental ideas that dominate Europe. because he says that the the european ideas are rotten and it's it's kind of uh i agree but what are the ideas coming out of ukraine so ukraine uh, believes in freedom but what does freedom mean right now it means not being ruled by russians right but does that mean not being ruled by ukrainians that is, uh, are Ukrainians willing, once they defeat the Russians, are they willing to establish real freedom in Ukraine? Ukraine wasn't the freest country before hmm. the war. Uh, it was incredibly corrupt. The government did a lot of things it shouldn't have done. The government was involved in a lot of life. The government was involved in a lot of industry. It, it, it wouldn't privatize. It, it held a lot of land. It held a lot of industries. It held a lot of natural resources. When the war is over, is the government suddenly going to become capitalist and want to want to sell everything and and really challenge Europe? So maybe what Europe will learn from this is that appeasement is evil, at least in the short run. But you think they would have learned that from uh, World War Two, right? So it's not clear to me that they actually learn the lessons and for how long. If they do learn for how long, uh, so I think. I think that they will learn the lesson with regard to Russia. They will learn the lesson maybe about appeasement. Maybe they'll interpret that in a positive way in terms of how to deal with China. Maybe there'll be some shakeup. But the fundamental ideas behind this, the fundamental political ideas, the fundamental ideas behind the welfare state, the fundamental ideas behind our mixed economies with heavy regulations and so on, I don't see how, uh, I don't see intellectuals in Ukraine uh, advocating for something very different and and uh, and challenging the West's uh, ideas about the welfare state and about the mixed economy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there are better thinkers in Ukraine, and, and we'll discover that. Certainly, they're courageous. Certainly, they're willing to fight. Uh, that's uh, an improvement, and you're already seeing certain ideas in Europe shaken up a little bit. Germany announcing that they will increase their defense budget, although we'll see if they actually do it, right? right. Talking about it and doing it are two separate things. Um, but I don't see coming out of Ukraine a new set of intellectuals with real fresh ideas about a new role of government and a shrinking of the role of the state and individual freedom. Uh, again, they're fighting for their country's freedom, which is different than they're fighting for individual freedom. Right. Probably maybe his idea is, is that there will be certain refreshment because they couldn't uh, do so much when the all the government was corrupt. So there's a new page where they can probably start. We, I hope so. I hope, I hope so. I think there's always been a lot of potential in Ukraine. They, they seem to have, um, you know, they have a memory of the Soviet Union. They have a memory of communism. They have a memory now of corruption and, and kind of what that leads to. Uh, they know how evil Putin is. They've just fought a war against Putin. Does that ultimately lead them to establishing a better government, a more rational government, uh, and, or, you know, one of the things that could happen is that at the end of the war, they will look to the West for money. They will look to the West to rebuild. Mm. And uh, with that, with all the money they get from Germany and the United States and other places, there will be a lot of strings attached. And those strings will maybe that will reduce corruption in Ukraine, but they will also try to make Ukraine into another, just another European country. And uh, so I'm not sure which direction the influence will flow. Um, uh, European ideas are very powerful. Uh, the European Union is very uh, is very dominant. Ukraine wants to be a member, right? They've already applied right. for, for membership. If they become a member of the European Union, they become a member of this regulatory, you know, uh, somewhat authoritarian kind of economic mm-hmm. system. 
it will do them good because they come from such a bad place in terms of corruption, but it will reduce their ability to impact the rest of Europe. Right. So to some extent, it's already impacted Europe because it's woken Europe up to the fact that there's still evil in the world and there's still really bad players in the world. But whether it wakes it up beyond that is hard to tell. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.